Thank you for joining us on another segment of Project Kickstart. With me, I have one of our fellow employees here at Bike Bandit, Ashley Benson. How are you doing, Ashley? I'm good. How are you? Good. Tell us a little bit about what you do here at Bike Bandit. Um, at Bike Bandit, I am the web content specialist, which means that I am in charge of all of our social media, including Facebook, Twitter, and now Instagram, which we just joined, as well as uh, being in charge of all of our community section at bikebandit.com. Cool. So tell me, when did you first start riding a bike? I first started riding, riding um, it was like two years ago after I started working here. Once you're surrounded by motorcycles, it kind of becomes a fascination. Oh, yeah. So Trust I, me, I can't yeah. wait to get mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I took the MSF course within months of starting here and got my license and then started looking for bikes and um, have kind of tried to ride ever since. What kind of bike do you have now? I currently have a 1980 Honda CM400E, so it's a... It's a classic. <laughs> is that the bike that you learned how to ride on, or is that the only bike you've ever had? It's the only bike I've ever had. Um, I learned how to ride at the MSF course with the, uh, I did the, actually the Harley Davidson Rider's Edge. Okay. And so they had, I think it was Buell Blasts. And uh, so I learned how to ride on one of those, which was like a 500. And uh, this is the only bike that I've owned. So it's the only bike that I've ridden since. Cool. Are you working on any projects with this bike? I actually, right after I got it, got really excited about turning it into a cafe racer and ended up completely tearing it apart, put all new handlebars on it, um, new cables, new grips, new a ton of stuff. Um, changed pretty much everything except for the actual engine. And um, it's still a work in progress. It, uh, it currently actually needs some front brake work. because. Yeah. It has drum brakes, which I am not very well equipped at working on. <laughs> What's the biggest challenge that you face with this project? I think um, the brakes, the front brakes. Uh, on older motorcycles, sometimes they can be a little bit more finicky. And I'm, it's the first bike that I've ever worked on. I, I write uh, in the community section about working on motorcycles all day long. So I kind of wanted to challenge myself and, and practice what I preach, so to say. And uh, I think the brakes have just kind of been... A little bit more difficult for me to kind of tune in after changing out all the cables and whatnot mostly because of they're just a little bit more finicky with being drum brakes and all yeah if you could give our bike bandit customers one good tip on fixing maybe their brakes on their bike what would you suggest um i would suggest kind of knowing your limits. I know that I saw the, the feature with Glenn and he had kind of said the same thing. And I think it, with me, I know I'm probably not gonna be able to safely fix my brakes by myself. And so I, I've kind of come to the conclusion that I need to know my own limits and take it to a mechanic and have the mechanic fine tune it so that when I'm out riding, my bike is as safe for me and for everyone else on the road. Yeah. Um, and so I think that's my biggest tip is just knowing, knowing what you can and can't do and, and having the ability to kind of let your pride go and, and take it in when it when it needs to happen. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, thank Ashley, you. for coming in and talking to us. Stay tuned next week as we feature another one of our fellow employees here at Bike Bandit. We're going to be talking about his bike and some of the projects he's working on. Stay tuned. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.